Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and hold welcome on, to- Hold on, hold on. My name is Alex and this is Z from Z Reviews Tech and you can find his channel in the video's description. So today we are here to talk about the best budget phones for 2017. So as you know, there are a lot of different features in many different phones and it can be hard to pick from those phones. So what we are here to help you do today is help you pick the right phone for your needs at the right budget. So at number five, we have the Xiaomi Redmi 4X and this phone offers amazing value for its price. You can get the Redmi 4X for around $130 and for that you get a Snapdragon 435, you get 2 gigs of RAM and a 5 inch screen with a 720p resolution. But we get a massive 4000 milliamp battery. Now you can get over 12 hours of screen on time off from that 4000 milliamp battery and that's just impressive. Even though the phone doesn't have the fastest CPU out there, it still performs okay for day to day usage and better than a lot of other phones in that price range. So number four, the Yumi Digi Z Pro. This phone is pretty well-rounded as a MediaTek flagship. Sure, it doesn't match up to the top-end Snapdragons, but it definitely holds its own against many other phones. One of the biggest upsides to this phone is a dual camera setup. Yes, it's not the best in the world, but it can take some pretty saturated and vivid photos. The screen on the Yumi is also pretty decent as well. So number three, the Elephone P8 Mini is a very cheap smartphone from Elephone, and it has some pretty good stuff going for it. For example, a lot of RAM, four gigs of RAM, a nice screen and the camera is capable of taking some pretty good photos sometimes but not all the time. That's not to say that this phone doesn't have its problems because it does have one and it's significant and it's battery life but the pros here definitely outweigh the cons. The Lieco Limax 2 X29 is sitting at number 2. With this phone we get flagship specs for under $200 and this is also the global version of the device that works pretty much anywhere in the world. With a Snapdragon 820 and 4 gigs of RAM you can expect some serious performance no matter what you do with it. And you can actually buy this device with 6 gigs of RAM. The 21 megapixel camera can also take some spectacular looking pictures but unfortunately that doesn't happen all the time so it's a hit and miss situation. The only thing that holds back this phone is the UI and it's a shame because this phone has great potential. But even like this, this is a premium phone at a non-premium price. At number one I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X. With this one we get a super power efficient Snapdragon 625 CPU, this is an octa-core CPU. We also get a very nice looking 5.5 inch screen that has a 1080p resolution. And on top of that we even get 3 gigs of RAM, but I believe that you can buy this phone with the 4 gigs of RAM as well. If you're lucky enough and you get a model that has the Sony camera sensor on the back, you can take some really nice looking pictures as well. The back of the phone is made out of metal entirely and like most Xiaomi phones it offers a very premium look and feel. And on top of that we get great performance and over 8 hours of screen on time. So my favorite phone was the Elephone P8 Mini because it represents some pretty good value for money and it's been a while since Elephone <laughs> And it's been a while since Elephone has released a really good budget smartphone and it looks like Elephone's back in the game. So based on our experience, these phones offer the best value in their price range. My favorite is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X just because it's got an awesome screen, a decent camera and awesome battery life. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you press that like button and subscribe. This was a lot of fun. I'm Alex. So am I. He's not Alex. And I'll see you guys in the next one. A good budget smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>